now let's do our cube, all right, our two-point cube. Um, again, we're going to work with something very simple here. There's not a whole lot of fading from one color to another or value to another. Um, if we do, it's very, very subtle. If the light is coming from over here still on this left-hand side, the top and this side are going to be sort of our brightest ones. So we're going to be working with some H pencils. So um, I'm going to say that this is pretty much going to be somewhat in the white family, okay? But then we're going to have a little bit of shading going on over here because the light's going to start to get a little further away, okay? So it's brightest at the edge or the corner. I'm going to just use my 3H pencil or an H pencil, whatever you have as light as you can. I'm making sure to get my edges, okay? And notice how I'm holding the pencil way, way out. I know it feels weird, all right? And then I'm gonna even lighten my hand pressure to almost nothing, okay? Now, so that's my H, really, really faint. On the top, it's gonna be kind of all white or pretty close to it again. We're gonna come back over here and I'm gonna kinda of do just a little bit on the edge over here and fade it to nothing. This side's gonna be significantly darker, but I'm gonna do one more thing here with my H pencil. Uh, this was sort of my 3H. I'm gonna come back in over here and I'm gonna get this just a little bit more edge to it because we want it to be just different enough from the top top truly is receiving a lot more light and then I'm going to fade out. So this side's got a little bit more H umph than that does. Now the back side is facing away from us. So I'm going to come in with a pretty dark 4B back here. This is away from the light completely. So we're going to come in here. Now notice how I shaded up and down on the sides and look at that. I did sort of a horizontal I say sort of a horizontal. I was following the roof line of this cube, right? So the sides I'm doing vertical and the top I followed the perspective of the box's lid. So back here, I'm gonna come back to vertical again, right? So I'm gonna give us our verticals. And again, you really need to make good coverage. Don't leave gaps like this, okay? Because that, that doesn't clarify the value that you want. Again, go along the edges. <clears throat> make sure you got the edges covered. And every bit of this is covered with a similar value. Right now, I'm gonna get my edges. so we don't have any leftover white spaces. So now I'm gonna make this a little bit richer, a little bit heavier, I'm gonna do my edges here. So now I'm getting heavier now. Okay, getting a lot richer with my 4B pencil now. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna go into my table. Remember, the table is still horizontal. I know this is kind of throwing you off because these are angles on the shadows, but we're still on a table and the table is flat. So that means I still have to go horizontal. Oh, I know, it feels weird, doesn't it? Okay, so I'm still going horizontal. And I'm still kind of fading out, right? This is really, really rich 6B here in the corners. And then I'm starting to fade out a little bit. So remember, I'm fading out and I'm gonna come back with my 4B, okay? And I'm gonna move this up here just a little bit so I can get my hand in the picture. I'm gonna come over here and kind of get, look how light I am with my 4B over here. This is a shadow. It's a subtle one, okay? So I'm really light over here with my 4B. And then 
it starts to fade into the, the 6B area, right? I'm starting to fade out a bit. And then I'm gonna fade into my, my 2B world. Notice how this is kind of like a triangular area. It's gonna be a little bit darker over here because there are fewer um, light source from over there. Sorry about that, didn't mean to hit my camera stand. So this is still a little bit darker over there, even with my 2B. Now I'm gonna lighten up my hand pressure as I come over. Do, 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 do. And there we go. Okay, so there is our finished cube. And again, you can always come in here and erase any edges that kind of happen. So super light H's, two different kinds of H's here, 4B, 6B, faded out to four, really light, really light, faded into 2A, 2B, really, really light. And there you have your cube.